So, when you got back from Argentina, uh, you, you went on and then you won the 500 TT. So, the actual the, the British Championships, uh, when you won your time trial on Titan, um, was after the Worlds, yeah. because it was in May. So, uh, did, you, did you see that as a surprise? Mind you, you're saying all your, <coughs> all your sprint training, but uh, your time ran Titan, 49.9 seconds. The only bloke to go under 50 seconds <coughs> that weekend. Yeah. So, was that a surprise to you or was that a shock? Because you've got some, you know, like, it was a of, surprise. Because, um, as I said, said to you that yeah, that was the that was the fast. You know, if I'd put together my fastest time in training from the line to the from the start line to the finish, and then put my fastest two lap time, flying flying lap time together, I was still 0.3 or something quicker than than that time. Mm. So to do 49.9 was a was you know was great, and you know, I mean. You know, you know, I could only do what I could do. Yeah. I didn't know what John and the others could do. So, yeah. so that was it. So, yeah, I was over the moon. Yeah. You know. So you now you got your second title. I'm a sprinter. Yeah. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, I'm a sprinter. Pat Beatum, he's a sprinter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, Comes in the phase, and then well, that, that was always my weakness back in you know previous previous to that winter. Um, I'd never never really trained to sp to sprint you know in that form before you know so I. I you know, we put together, I say, athletic sprint training and into into skating, and it worked well for me. So, it, it, and I, I presume, like it, your main rivals at that period was was the people who were in the the national in team, Fry, yeah. Malay, yeah. McGough. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, but then in September that year, you went on to Sesto San Giovanni for, in mm -hmm. Italy on the road, and like. If I look at the results sheet, it shows your results as quite unspectacular. Poor. Poor. Yeah. What? Well, why would that be? Blue wheels, Mickey's wheels. What about them? Well, I. What people don't know, I mean, Mickey would know, but he, he's probably forgotten. I mean, he'd remember. Mm. If, now I might remind him. He may. He. He. I had problems with. I would always melt my right front wheel. And. Because uh, you know whether it's because they were plastic I, wheels. They were too, they were low melting point wheels. Right. And so um, I was at a di on blue on those blue wheels. I was always at a disadvantage. Now it, this only came to me fairly recently. You know when I was thinking about it. In, in fact, it was reading your skating legends thing that, right. that sort of ticked the box, shall we say? Mm -hmm. Every time I raced on those blues, I was I struggled, and that was Southampton. New Zealand, and and this Sesto. one, San Sesto. It's in the twenty thousand in San Sesto. I had two spare wheels in my pocket, and these were the I had these gold ones, which were like the, um, the know, toffees. Toffees, yeah, toffees, yeah, I see, yeah. yeah I which dragged. Mean. Okay, mm -hmm. we used them as a drag wheel, but mm -hmm. I was having to use them for this wheel to stop it melting. And the, obviously, it's like pushing a mega red. You know, it, it slows you. It slows you down. So, so I'm having to push more resistance than anybody else, and I'm not getting any speed or grip benefit because you didn't need it on those. I could skate the, skate, skate the bends perfectly okay, and I, I was even melting these bloody these toffees. So, so ancestor San Giovanni. Yeah, so you, so you I was I was struggling. Yeah, but pure. You know, pure. You know, if you if you push a you know, put a put a Ferrari, you know, a car, you know, one of the yeah. the Grand Prix cars on a softer set of wheels when when grip isn't wanted, and they're going to go slower, and that's you know. So I was. At so must been quite frustrating for you. Really frustrating, yeah. But as I said at the time, I you know, I mean, obviously, I knew when the wheel blew up, that uh, you know, that it, that I was you know getting a lot of drag, but uh, you know. But you, you you got bronze in the relay. With, yeah, but with only, you know, you only Tom? do one lap at a time, you know. So right, they okay. called, they stay cool, don't they? In that, yeah. in that sort of thing, and we, yeah, we did great, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But relays, I, I would say relays were my forte anyway, because it's an interval training which I'm used to with with running and stuff, and uh, and in my own training I was doing intervals, all, you know, so intervals from from some time back. Uh, so I was always strong in relays.
Well, in in seventy six, then so moving on to seventy six, then and again you you you, met, you got some medals in the British Championships. You didn't win one, but you you, you got a few a uh, couple of medals. Yeah. Um, and there was no major championships, no worlds or Euros. No, but, that's right. But then the following year, seventy seven, you got finale nearly on the road, and it's you got mercy, I think. and ah, uh, no. oh, oh, well, I'm gonna yeah, I know, yeah, 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 yeah just... we'll come to that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you're getting finale Amelia on yes. the road, yeah. and then Salerno on the track. Um, yeah. So, but you're left out uh, of the road in favour of well, in favour of Bobby Smith. It transpires because yeah. when we spoke again briefly about that. So well, I know we touched on this, but tell me the story about that uh, and finale Amelia and, and you being left out the road team. Well, I naturally because of my road skating, I expected to be on the skating on the road. <clears throat> when it came to the the selection races on the actual track, I finished in positions that would have would have put me into that team, but uh, Bob and Di, I think they were the managers at the time, uh, decided because I'd got a runny nose, which was which I could explain, but you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a nutritionist and stuff, so that was, so yeah, I was, uh, de I was detoxing in effect, but, uh, but they didn't see it, they thought I'd got a cold, and they thought I'd get weaker, although I'd, I was proving in the selection races that I was, I was perfectly okay. And it wasn't having any effect at all. And they just so, worked so? No, so I, I took it that they, they obviously wanted an excuse to be able to use the reserves to when, so when they got back to the committee, they could say, you know, we didn't take them out there for nothing sort of thing. And I mean, it used to go on. So, you know, I mean, I was, I would be, I got blasted when I was team manager, at, you know, for mm. coming back from Ostend with, uh, I was emerald with yeah. not skating one or two yeah. people. But I was, you know, as a manager, I, you know, the strongest team. I was, I select the strongest team, uh, whatever, you know, and I know who's the strongest team because I've been there and done it, and you know, so you, you know you, what, what's required. Your runny nose obviously cleared up then for Salerno. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> so you get to say, yeah, yeah, so yeah, obviously, yeah. you, you so got I, a bunch so of skating on this track, and the track yeah. was the best track I've ever skated, really? without, without a doubt. Yeah, I, it fell into uh, the sea, I believe. But, it was hundred and yeah. it was about hundred and fifty-five. Meters yeah, called into yeah. Ernie. Yeah, it was too short, too short to be a championship. But anyway, it was it. That's it, it was run, um, accepted, and uh, and I had a fabulous time. I mean, it, it suited me to a T because it was, it was steep enough that there was no centrifugal force, and I could really use my leg strength and you know come off it. And I was. I had, I think I had something like three fourths and a sixth there. Oh, so yeah. I think John and Elaine did quite well. Yeah. yeah, but quite I well. mean, you know, John, John, John. Would be, I don't know. I, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't get to the Belgian Massa, and I needed, oh, I, see. I needed the Belgian Massa to to do my legs because they, you know, obviously they tightened up with training and what have you, and. I desperately needed them done, but John was in an injury type situation. Uh, he's, you know, and his legs were a little bit more delicate, shall we say? <laughs> uh, and because he and he won a medal or something, he, he won, won, a, I think he he won, won two medals. I think he, won he won a won second or third. Yeah. But he, he won a medal, so he was, you know, and I, my, although my legs needed doing, they weren't in dire straits, shall we say? So. So I ended up with three, you know, as I think it was three fourths and a sixth, and I was I was happy with that. But I would have liked to have gone home with the medal. But and and there was, I mean, in the last event, I was uh, half a lap up with three, four, five laps to go with uh, with um, an Italian on my back, and the the you know the up to then the Italians had taken first, second, third, mm. and fourth, I think, in practically every event, and the. The you know the the opposite you know the opposition shall we say which was all the teams got together and we said, you know, we're not going to chase another one. The attack we're going to force the Italians to do the work or what have you. So when I, so you know we all said you know we wouldn't chase anything, and I as I said I went away with I think about ten laps to go or something and uh, with just this one Italian on my back, so I was on for a certain second, um, and then. Boucher blew it, didn't he? French, uh, and he was one, he's a mate of mine, Boucher, and uh, he he was obviously paid by the Italians. I mean, we always thought he was in the Italian camp because he, yeah. But anyway, he uh, 
he pulled the line back to back to me because obviously I'd done enough up out the front there, you know. So yeah, so he pulled, pulled him back, and the Italians took first, second, third, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah, so. so at the end of '76, yeah. you left Southern. Yeah. No, I didn't leave Southern. I was kicked out. Of so tell me about that then. I uh, said. I said to them at the beginning of the 76 season, I said, look, we've got a whole, we've got a year where there's no Europeans or Worlds. I'm prepared to train you um, to make this club strong. I was a club trainer. And I said, I'm prepared to train you um, the way I train myself and pull this club, you know, right up there so we can win everything pretty well. You know, that was the, that was the plan. I said, the only thing is that I want in return is that you don't attend the Anglo Day or session, which was on a Wednesday, I think, at the time. You do, you do all, all as many. Was Anglo Day or a club? It was a club at that time. It was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but but I only only raced abroad. You didn't race in England. Okay. Yeah. So it was, I didn't realise it was. It was. It was, club, it was yeah. effectively uh, like the British team only yeah. select. That uh, Pete and Pete, Pete Howe and myself got together with, or we met met up with George Husay, who was mm. Jack Husay's dad, yeah. and Gus Van Hammer, mm. and a German guy called Hauser, mm -hmm. um, and they said they wanted stronger teams to go to their competitions. They didn't want, should we say, a name like Mickey and three lesser lights so they could, might did want. Did you have to, to I, I know we're digressing slightly, we'll come back yeah. to the, the, the leaving of the Southern Club, but so just to clarify the Anglo Day or thing, so did you, was it another, so it was another club, or was it, or was it, was it you skated for Anglo Day or and your own club, or was it another club, was it Anglo Day or was it was a club? It was a club, a, a second name, like a second name club. So you skated for your own club, but then you could skate. But for then Anglo you could Day, skate right? for Anglo Day or abroad. So right. it was just it was like it was like the national team. Yeah. Or a did national you have to get select. selected for? Did you have to give, be selected yeah, the, for Anglo the, Day? The committee or? of Anglo Day or selected the team to go to certain events. But stuff. they selected uh, skaters from other clubs. From any, any, anybody who was a member of okay. Anglo Day or could skate, could could be was up for nomination to skate abroad. But if if for instance the you know, if, if a foreign club. What I'm so, trying to say, sorry, sorry what I'm trying yeah. to say is that if, if you're skating for Southern, yeah. and you're skating for Southern, can Anglo Day or say, oh, we've got a, a race abroad, um, with Patrick, we want yeah. you to skate for Anglo Day or next weekend? You could do that, or was it a different club? Was, did you, could you uh, skate for Anglo Day or and Southern at the same time? Abroad. A, only abroad, yeah? But Anglo Day or never raced. In the UK, Anglo Day, I never used to race in the UK. So where these things? So why was you anti Anglo Day or training sessions on a Wednesday? Uh, well, no. When, when I sorry, it may it may have I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Anglo Day was the was where anybody could go. Yes. All right. So nice. I, I'm not sure whether it was Anglo Day or not. But anyway, it was mixed clubs night. Okay. That, that, ah, was, the, that okay. was the point. Okay. Right. Okay. So so the. The mixed clubs night was where you sorry, was where you you joined the you know you, you went along and you got an extra skate basically ah, so you got your own club okay. training and then you could go along an open on a Wednesday session, night to like an open, open session. Right, I understand. So I said what I I mean people that know me and the, the ones that were skating with me at the time knew that if they could skate on my back, uh, then they would get a free session. Basically, I mean, you know, that's why, <laughs> that's why we achieved what we did in the British team because, because I could do, I could do the metronome and churn out lap after lap at a particular pace up in it if necessary, and then the others just had to skate for the for the line in effect. So, um, so I, I said to them, I said, look, you know, you can come at, if you if you if you go, if you just go out there and show the other clubs what you can do, then all you're doing is weakening my position in the races. Mm -hmm. So I said I'm prepared to train you, and you can you can get, gain the benefit of that and be that much stronger next year. You know, relying on my own capabilities to still be able to beat them, but the the club would have taken a big boost. I mean, it's it's pretty well what. 
what Mercia and stuff were doing all the time. But 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 when you in the normal sort of training sessions and stuff, I was doing sort of specialist type stuff on my own, and then I was attending the club sessions and stuff. And I said, well, you know, if you come along, we can all we can all to make a big boost together, you know. And they agreed, you know, everybody said, you know, okay, we're, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, and I think Saturday or Sunday or whatever was the, were the sessions that we were going to go for. And this, this, it was all very well until, till the winter period. And then a couple of them started dropping out from one or two days of the week. And as I said, the, the, the real specific was I didn't want them training on a Wednesday night because then they'd pass on that fitness to the other people that I didn't definitely didn't want. I mean, Tom would ride the, you know, as an example, would ride you till the cows come home and just step out, oh, thank you very much, you know, on the finishing straight. And I'd, we, uh, I can't remember whether it was at that stage or whether it was later that we actually proved that, that he could, you know, he just had to sit on the back and he'd gain, you know, the same as Mickey. I mean, that's how we, we, we work for the British team, you know. I'd do two laps at the front, he'd do, he'd do his one and, and, uh, and Mickey gained and, and the team gained. So I was prepared, to, you know, we were, I was prepared to sacrifice that for the team because I was a team skater, I've always been. So anyway, so the, so as I said, we got, got into the winter and then, you know, the odd, you know, oh, I can't, can't come or something, uh, you know, I'm too tired. But then I discovered that they were going, turning up on a Wednesday night and Oh yeah, look what I can do. So, Who was that? Which skaters would that have been? Well, Roy Lawrence was one of them, mm. as, a, as I recall. But, um, oh, Roy skated for Southern. Roy skated. I didn't realise yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, and and at the end of the year, I said to them, "You broke the agreement." Is that a bit of a pause there for a, a scheduled, an unscheduled uh, phone call? That's all yeah. right. It happened to Melanie in this interview, funny enough. Um, yeah, we were saying so. Yeah, uh, these people skated for the others, and look what I can do. Yeah. So, so at the end of the year, when it came to the, um, I think it was the, oh, it's the following. That's right. The following year, when the trainer came came up, I said, um, I said, I'm not trainer. I'm not going to be trainer. Uh, this year. This is Club AGM or something? This is Club, is Club AGM. Mm -hmm. I said, um, <clears throat> I'm not prepared to train this year. This year I'm going to be skating. Um, I'll skate for the club, but I said I'll be looking at the training session. And I said, when you come up to my standard, then I'll skate. You know, then I'll, come, I'll start skating at the, at the club training session. But I said, I ain't training yet. Uh, I'll be training on my own. Along with, I think I think it was Bob, uh, yeah, Jared was one, and Bobby Smith was mm -hmm. the other one that trained with me all that year, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we did really. I mean, we we won British Championships yeah, yeah, or something, yeah. you know. So, so, um, and the others went away. They went away, and then I received. I think I received a letter or something saying there's a special general meeting the following week, um, and I was. And I turned up for the meeting, and I was asked to resign from the club. From the club itself. And yeah. I said, "No way am I resigning from a club that I've been in since you know, since it, you know, since my start." Ten something. years. Yeah. I said, "This is you know, I've given everything to this club." Um, I said, "If you want me out, you can you can kick me out." I said, "That's the only way I'm going to go." I said, "You know, this is my club," and uh, and they looked at each other and uh, they said, "Well, you know." We put it to the vote then, or something, you know. And half of them abstained because they knew what it meant. And the it got through on the chairman's vote. Now the chairman was Keith Ball, who was part of the old school. Uh, Isn't he Royal Lawrence's brother-in-law? Yes, he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mary Abbott, who hadn't, I mean, there, there were people mm. there that hadn't hadn't been in the club, you know, with the club, shall we say, mm. for some time. So they'd obviously been called oh, okay. along to, yeah, to yeah, act yeah. as the boat, you know, right. sort of thing, yeah. uh, if it should go to that. And uh, it got passed on the chairman's vote that I got kicked out of the club. Right. And I I was pretty... Miffed. I was, I was miffed. I felt totally let down. Mm -hmm. um, but 
at the same time I felt relieved. What do you think that was? They took that sort of drastic action to, because, to kick out the club? Because with, without me as trainer, the club, club were effectively folded. But if and that's what happened. Yeah, uh, but why? Would, I'm just wondering why. If they knew, you know, without you as trainer, the club would fold. And if they kick you out, it, it would definitely fold. You know what I mean? It, it well, seems like. I mean, I was. Is that cutting your nose off to spite your face? Absolutely. Yeah, but but the people that did the voting. I mean, we're talking about the people that were inactive. They were inactive. They've not been around for, for a while. They've been around. They, you know, so so they, you know, they realised that, you know, with without me training them that the, the club was going to go downwards so you and there was already you know people people there you could see they'd got alliances in other clubs mm. and it was it was dead certain that as soon as the vote went through that uh, people were going to leave to go to to palace and north london and what have you which is uh, which is what happened well you went to mercia so how did I, that come well i walked away from the meeting and i yeah. thought bloody hell you know yeah. What do I do now, sort of thing, you yeah. know, because the rivalries between me and North London and me and uh, Palace were great enough that I, you know, really sort of think twice about joining them. Mm -hmm. um, and Jared, <laughs> Jared said to me, he said, Pat, he said, join, join John up in, Bir you know, Birmingham. And I said, yeah, because we'd been going up there for, for training at Granby Halls and right. stuff, you know. And... Uh, I laughed and I said, "Yeah, that would be that would be a crack sort of thing, you know." I said, "That would be the one thing that they haven't thought of because you know I'm sure it was all premeditated, you know. It was the you know because by putting me on my own that obviously weakened me, yeah. you know. And I thought that's the one thing that you know. It, and we we walked away from there laughing." At the end of the day. So Jared came. Jared came. Jared with you was the one. Yeah. But how did that come about? I mean, did you phone up the Mercy Club and say, "I'm out of a club here. Um, can I join you guys?" Or how did that come about? Had that already been muted? I think ago, I probably, or, no, or, no, 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 just, no. So no, it was totally, so totally out totally of blue. blue. Me, so, yeah. so how did you come to join? Jared. How did they go? Because you know, Mercy. Did they go? Oh yeah, come on then, Pat. Or did they go? Oh, I'm not too sure about this. Well, as far as I as far as I understand, from someone in the, in your club. Right. It was there was only Mulaney who voted against everybody else oh. voting me. <laughs> and I understand that because John John used me as I was the I was the um, what's he call it the Antichrist or whatever you want to call it the the thing that he he completely focused on beating me. Right. And all of a sudden I was then a part of his club. It was also the the fraternity type thing because him and John had a really you know a close friendship and everything yeah. and obviously me coming in would would change that um that environment sort of thing uh you know so so there was you know i mean maloney had a lot to lose sort of thing mm -hmm. he, he lost his main um motivation shall we say right and at the same time he, there was a possibility that i might break his friendship which is which is effectively what happened ultimately right ultimately but you know so, but we, we, I mean, we worked, we worked great as a three-man team, as yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah. we went to Belgium and all, all sorts and stuff. Well, so, um, but, you, but you joined Mercia, and Jared followed you to Mercia. Well, yeah, and, and, and Tony Olds did as well. And Tony Olds, so yeah. Tony Olds, Tony Olds was in Southern, was he? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Tony Olds. Oh, was he? No, he's not. No, well, whichever no, way, but he joined he you. Was, he was, yeah, anyway, yeah. So he yeah. joined you in Mercia. Yeah, because um, yeah, there was a few people when I think back, like Stevie Swain. There's yeah. another one, yeah. yeah well, I think yeah. back to that. So, um, so Mercia, although it's a Midland club, and, and I know the, the history behind being called Mercia because it, yeah. it, it might be Birmingham yeah. related, so it's still like a Midland club. And, and it had people from Leicester like Lenny Law yeah. and, and, and Cliff Stafford and Dennis Stafford, people who were skating. Now it got some people from London, yeah. So, so yeah. it's becoming quite a bit of a national sort of club in, in, in its outlook. What about so? You did that, and you went to to Finale Amelia. But the likes of Bobby Smith, what, why, why did Bobby Smith not not? I think he packed up. Because I know, well, I, so I know he, he came to. I'm just trying he, to. He, he didn't. He right in '77. He went to Finale Amelia, and then and, and Salerno. But and he, he didn't feature much after that. He must have no. packed up. But so, do you think that was a? Do you think that might have been a reason? I mean, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to track Bobby Smith down, but you know, I. That was probably when he when he packed up. When he up. sort of said that's it. When he said that's it, yeah. Because he, 
I mean, he would have been able to try. He, he would have been. He would have been able to train with me. But oh, when we were, when Jared and I were training, mm -hmm. no, sorry, because when Jared jumped camp, so to speak, then it was just me and Bobby for a while. Uh, but then, as I say, Jared came. Jared came back. Um, yeah. No, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because just trying to think what happened there now. I know Jared came thing. back to Southern. I know Jared Jerry, joined yeah. Midland in the early seventies. Yeah. Came back to Southern, and then he That's jumped right. ship from Southern with yourself Southern to with Mercia. Mercia. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so but I just wonder whatever happened to, to yeah. Bobby Smith. Yeah. So, but there was never any. So, the fact that you've done that with with the Southern was there any ever was there any needle with the Southern club that was left when you raced for Mercia? Not from not from my point of view. No, no, no. But no, but did just... you feel any animosity or? Needle? Oh, there was there was yeah when I first skated for. <laughs> Yeah, when when I first skated for um, Mercy, we did trials at um, trials at Granby Halls. Mm. Yeah, it was Granby Halls, and I remember all the all the elbows were out for me from the. And I remember boys especially, and and I was, that was funny that was because you know every time I moved up the line, the elbows would be out, and I could I could still get in it. I mean, I was I'm big enough and tough enough that I can. I'm heavier, heavier than them anyway, you know. And I remember, remember Roy charging me from across the the full straight, you know, sort of crash to crash into me. And I said, okay, yeah. And then it, this was it's a, it a twenty thousand or something it was, in the in the trial of selection or whatever. And I looked at the looked for the selectors, selectors, and they didn't, you know, no whistle was blown, nothing done whatsoever. So I thought, right, okay, next lap round. I've moved up the line and just gone pop on Roy and he went and sailed through about four rows of chairs and stuff <laughs> and and the, the, the selectors then came out and they went Whoa, you know sort of finish like this sort of thing you know there's about four laps to go you know and how ironic yeah. that Roy later joined Mercia yeah 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 I, I mean yeah yeah it's yeah. It's it, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, to this, you know, it's only you, you mentioning that you're you asking that question that brought it up again. But uh, I mean, Roy was, uh, you know. You haven't thought about that in 30 odd years? No, 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 not at all, not at all. But I, I just remember him, him running from one end of the of Granby Halls to the other bend because I'm sort of laughing, sort of thing, you know. And he's got two bent axles on his <laughs> skate and he's, he wants to hit me with it, but hey, that was fun. Yeah. One of those things. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, later, 1978 then, and we go to La Roche, and you're in the team, yeah. but you didn't skate due to injury. So what was up with you? I literally the last training session before I went, I went to Battersea, drove to Battersea Park, and trained on the car park there. No, sorry, no Finsbury Park. Yeah, Finsbury Park. I trained on. Anyway, one of the two, and I was doing a sprint, a sprint session, and I caught. I was on blues, Mickey's blues. No, it was either the blues or the greens. Anyway, one of those again, low melting point wheels, and I've gone into a flown, you know, flying into a bend, and I've caught this tiny little <laughs> stone yeah. thing, which has caused a flat and tripped me as I come off the bend. Right. And uh, and I've gone down and I, I, I mean my physio, I, I tore a ten, I had part of ruptured a tendon in, mm. the, in my knee, which I didn't know. The physio looked at it and he said, "It's only a strain. You'll be okay to skate. Um, you know, just do this and that." Which I tried, and when I got out to La Roche, I was perfectly okay as long as somebody didn't didn't bump me or didn't. Um, or I didn't have to accelerate too hard. Mm. That was the that was the only things. But I I said to Tony, I said no, put the put Tom in. I said because was he reserve initially? Yeah, Tom, well, no, or I mean it was, it was a five man team. It was a five man team. So, but yeah, but uh, it was pretty obvious I was stronger. Yeah. Uh, and I was skating. I mean, it was it was made for us that track. Absolutely well, made it's, for I was going to say Mickey won, Fry won, again, Malane no, no. won. John, John and I were the, were the the fittest without a doubt. John was John was had a, had a slight edge on me. Um, that, this was in the trials that yeah, yeah. had gone on for some weeks, 
Um, so I went out. I was expecting to, to you know, to do really well. And then this this thing. Uh, and and when I got out there and I'm skating this track and I'm thinking, oh no, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it was a sort of. And then I saw the course the results. And I'm, yeah, was that, that was that over? But, I was, but again, I was I was really pleased for. Yeah, as I said, yeah. I'm a te I've always yeah. been a team person. Yeah. You know, I mean, a lot of people have got me as a loner and an individual and all that sort of thing. That's that's garbage. I mean, yeah. you, you just have to look at when I skated for Dyer's team manager, yeah. how I used to sort of you know you know be worked and and, and even even Ostend when I've led out the team for two and and John for the for yeah. the yeah, so so there's you know I'm a, I'm an out and out team. Player. So there's, but you was a bit disappointed, I could say, then for not skating, especially. When I was, there was really, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's because yeah, it was because Tom know, was always that's... disappointed when he in the knockouts that, that well, they were pulled yeah, out of the team. He yeah. always believed that was going to be his championship. Yeah, um, you know, I mean, I still look, I still look back, and I, I still, I mean, I, while I agree with John. John was the only one that was uh, was saying that we should just forget about it, forget about his disqualification, and and carry on with the skating. Um, you know, we were all unanimous in in saying in that's saying, really interesting. That in saying that we should pull out. I mean, I, I think I think Tom probably went along with the group. Uh, oh, but it, it's but it funny. Was, it's funny because I I've I've since I don't know if I I've seen Bob Alford's interview. Because yeah, Bob said that so. he was he was totally he didn't actually take the team, did he? Of course, that's right. It was Tony Wordsworth was the team. Tony Wordsworth, of course, yeah. 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 And it's really funny because Bob didn't agree with it. Bob says we shouldn't have done. No, okay. um, but Bob wasn't in. Uh, he wasn't no. the team manager. I just remember now. But um, it, it's funny. I, I asked. I think I asked Mick that question, and I can't. I'm, I think so. I can't remember. I, I don't think that he agreed that the team should be. Withdrawn, but I, I can't remember from the interview. Well, my honest, my recollection was yeah. was John Fry was the only was the only one that right. thought we should carry should on. Carry on. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, you know, it was it was pretty. I wouldn't say it might not have been unanimous, but it was. Uh, you know, the the general feeling was that principles were, you know, uh, were right. And I, and I always go. I mean, I've always been a principal person, yeah, so yeah. that was that was okay. it. You know, for me. Now. Which is why I later on slung in my my international badge on the judging thing because oh we'll, the, we'll come to that we'll come to that yeah we'll yeah. come to that but so seventy eight so we start, it's a good nucleus of, of really four skaters There's Tom's in the team occasionally Bobby Smith's in the team but yeah. really you Fry yeah. McGough yeah. Mullane how did you all get on because you're all really different characters there I mean really different characters you but, know but we. We had, there was mutual respect, that was the that was first thing. On the track we knew exactly what each other was capable of and we threw everything in. And I mean, you know, everything. Did I mean, you there, trust one another? Certainly, I, I mean, you know, certainly from my angle, I mean, there was no, there was no question of that, you know. Um, uh, and I was, I was there. I, I felt felt like a minder of the other three. For instance, Argentina. I mean, when we went out there, I carried the the heaviest bags. That <laughs> you know, so I had a I had a big rucksack on my back, and I had two the two biggest suitcases because I, I you know, I was doing weight training and stuff yeah. in the gym. That was the first time I'd done weights in my life. But but you know, I was you know, I was I was built to do it. You know, shall we say? And I knew that. If they were carrying those those things, I mean, although John and the two Johns were sort of you know working hard physically all day, it was just it's a sheer you know strength and that sort of thing, and I was able to recover. Did you all get on? We got on, got on fine. Yeah, I, I, you know, I mean, you know, there was there was the unwritten thing that I went to bed at ten o'clock, shall we say, because I wanted my sleep, and that was you know that was my training pattern and everything else, whereas they. We go to the bar, shall we say, you know, and whatever. But, did, but we did Mick ever feel ganged up on? Because you've got three Mercia guys there, really. Well, now by '78, you had you, Milan, no, but we, and we uh, knew, Brian. you know, we. But did he? Do you think he ever felt? No, I don't think so. No, he was. Uh, There's no club I mean, rivalries came out during the international. No, scene. no, not at all, not at all. No, we 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 were four really 
yeah, I mean, as I said, from my perspective is that we were four, you know, really um, uh, gutsy guys, intelligent from a skating perspective at least, um, that really wanted to win and knew that we, you know, we, between us, we had the capabilities, you know, obviously some, at some events, one person would be, would stand out as the, as the best chance or whatever, so we'd work for that sort of the thing. But there was, no, there was always a, you know, did that you, sort of possibility. Did you four think that you'd got it sewn up as a, as a team? Uh, you know, the British team? Never in my this. case. Really? Never in my case, no, because I was the one that was always on the chopping block. Right. And that's why I got out when I did. So I mean, the, well, was, there was, I mean, you know, you got the three, nat you got the three naturals. So anybody who wants to get in the team isn't going to beat the three naturals. They're always going to aim for me. But I had the fitness and the the strength and what have you. And as I say, I've got a brain. So it's it was a case of uh, yes, I was under the most stress. Um, well, in seventy eight and seventy nine in the British Championships, you never took a medal in a British ta in the British Championships. Um, can't even remember. No, they were held. No, oh, well, yeah, seventy nine. Yeah, um, but, but seventy nine was, was that Southampton? It might have been Southampton. So seventy nine. Yeah, well, that would so, explain why. I didn't but <laughs> but yeah, did, was, did, was you doubtful of your place on the team in sort of the late seventies? I mean, I know we, we're coming towards the end of the century, and I know we're coming towards Zanford as well. But I'm but did you, you did you ever like sort of like after? La Roche when he was injured, and yeah. then you, you know you, the following year you, you, again you've not. I'm trying to think. Seventy eight. What are the what are the championships? Were? I think seventy eight was on Southampton as well. So well, that, would, that would probably explain it because right. I mean, I don't know. There was oh, because John Downing came into it. It was starting to. It was starting to. It was starting to. So I mean, Southampton wasn't suited to me because right. again we're on Blues again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Um, although, yeah, and it was a different speed. It was a different. I mean, Johnny Fry had a theory on this. We're 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 sort of um, fifty. Was it fifty second, five hundred merchants? The you know when you go move down to forty six seconds or something for a four five hundred, we're not we're not capable of being there, shall we say? You know that was. And what's really funny is they're now doing five hundred meters in thirty nine seconds. Yeah, I know, but yeah. that's on a different scale. <laughs> I mean, you know, and different wheels. Well, the wheels are twice yes, the size are. of the ones we were pushing. Times, you know. Well, let's talk about let's talk about nineteen seventy nine. So it, it's of course this is a big point in your career, it's Zanford, and and after the the success of seventy eight with the British team, we've come to Zanford. Yeah. And uh, and again, Britain is, is successful. Fry in the five thousand, you know, Goffey in the in the ten thousand, and you in the twenty thousand. Mm. Um, but it wasn't as clear cut. It Ta taught me through the twenty thousand. So, well, the twenty thousand was the first race first. Right. right. So you was that the first. You was the, you was the first, first one, one to win the gold. Yeah. Right. That was the and that was crucial, really. I, I would say, yeah, you know, well, up to a point. I mean, but the. The thing was, the guys couldn't win it for me. Uh, so there was no lead. There was no lead out for you. There was. There couldn't be a lead out okay. uh, because the you know there was, uh, you know I said to them, don't you know don't worry. I said if there's gaps to be pulled back, I can you know I, I'll I'll let go if I need you. I'll shout basically, mm -hmm. and as far as I recall, there wasn't you know there wasn't any particular need to it, and I'm not I, I've. I vaguely remember Mulaney, but I can't remember, mm. can't remember John or Mickey uh, really being that you know about, shall we say? And then the, as I say, the, I remember the sprint went quite early, um, but they were on the finishing the, sprint. Yeah, the finishing sprint. They were on blues. Um, Who's that? What the, the, the other teams? Italians. Italians, okay. The Italians, I think, were on on Mickey's blues or right. something yeah. similar. So it's lightweight. Yeah, yeah. And we were pushing these. These green. That's right. Yeah, that's the wheels. Which were, yeah, yeah. Which were yeah. a bit different, um, and I couldn't. I could. Well, well, one they were sprinting, and you know Italians mm. sprinting. Mm. I mean, you know, when they sprint, I couldn't couldn't respond to their kick, uh, so I'm slightly off the back, and I'm you know working and working and working, but I couldn't get there. And then, as I said, as we came off the last the last bend, I'm thinking, okay, I'm. Third place here, and then this, then uh, 
Cristiano didn't trust De Percio to let him have the gold, so he decked him. <laughs> and I thought, oh, okay, that's second then I got then, you know, because I passed the guy, you know, passed De Percio, who's on the deck just before the line. And then, uh, and then John, as I say, your dad came running up to me and said, you've won, Pat. And I said, no, I didn't. I said, I finished second. He said, you ain't going to get away with that. And he's disqualified, you know. So that was, that was it, you know. So that was that sort of set off the weekend, but uh, was that a euphoric moment? I know you says your world medal meant more, and and even your heavily your fifty yeah, kilometre. Yeah, heavily fifty kilometre meant more to me. I mean, from the point of view, yes, I've achieved. How, how it was I've achieved what I yeah. I said back in Southern or what, you know yeah. whatever. I, I said I said to them, funny enough, at the start of that year, I said, look, I'm I'm planning to win a European or a world before I finish. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'd like to bring some of you with me. I mean, that was how I started, mm. you know. And people, you know, people have sort of said, oh, you know, big head and all this sort of thing. It wasn't about being big headed. That was my focus. You know, mm -hmm. that was what I. Yeah, you wasn't, win. Yeah. you know, it wasn't being cocky. No, it wasn't being cocky. It was no. about I'm going to put in the work, and if it, if I fail, I fail. Yeah. But that's what I'm aiming for, yeah. you know. And if you don't aim, you don't get, you know, really. So. So the the win the win didn't give me as the win the winning of one of my the, the my goals shall mm -hmm. we say was great but the the actual pleasure because I'd got a gold medal but it wasn't it didn't feel like a gold to me because there were two guys in front of me yeah, coming yeah, off the, the last man yeah. so I was on for a bronze yeah uh, so from that point of view there it, it was a not not as not as great a pleasure as winning. So the, 50, the history books might 50, say it. Yeah, winning yeah. the fifty kilometres by 50, yeah. by sixty metres or something. Because yeah, you won it. Because yeah, I sprinted yeah. from six hundred and eighty yeah. metre out, <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah, and, and they never caught you. And they never yeah. caught you know. Yeah. I could I could come down the line going you know sort of like this sort of thing you know. Then it's, it's completely different. Well then, twelve months on from that is the the, the Europeans were first of all they're on the track in Spalato. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which Remember you that very well. Did yeah. you? You didn't go to Spalato. No, did I? Oh no. So no. What? Well, I didn't go. Come, you didn't go to Spalato. Well, again, it's you know. Look at the management. There was Leo. Leo was one of the. I can't remember whether he was. Di was one. I think. Di was. Di might have been manager, but yeah. Leo was the Selector. assistant manager. Or, yeah, would would have been like. totally against me right. going in the first place. If you've seen his interview, you mm -hmm. you can see there was something in his mind about me, okay. uh, which was written a long time ago. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, you know, so there was that. There was the pressure on the committee that they really wanted to start blooding these youngsters. Mm. Now that would have been put on into the committee by Leo anyway, mm. because it was his skaters that were involved. Yeah, the McGraths and the Downings. The McGraths, yeah. the Downings. Um, to my, you know, to my mind who, who took them over, it was about bottle. You know, if you, if you can't break into a line mm. because you haven't got the bottle to to put yourself there and take that risk, you haven't got the timing, you haven't got, you don't command the respect, shall we say, mm. even in, you know, that then then how are you gonna, how are you gonna, you can't, you know, on a world championship or European championship, you don't just, you know, you know, skate up the side of the line or skate off into the distance mm. unless you've got some, you know, some rocket power sort of underneath you, you know. I mean, if you've got a blood doping or something yeah, like that, yeah, you yeah. can do that sort of thing. You can go from fifth to first and, and off the front. But you ain't going to get away with that. You know, you've got to be able to, to, to deserve your pecking order, shall we say. So if you come in for, if you, if you want to win the race, you've got to be in the first few places, really. So you was left at, so, so, so I, Spalator, I, I, you I had some, of Spalator. I mentioned about escape problems. Yeah. I, had, I had some escape problems that year. Right. And I didn't get it sorted until not so I was wasn't doing quite very well in the in the domestic mm -hmm. racing, which was I think it, it was some of that was in, indoors. Was, in eighty, I, I can't. Not, yeah. I don't know, but anyway, but, I, I wasn't doing wasn't doing doing great. Oh no, sorry, I had a I had a blood problem. I had a B twelve oh, problem. Right. Um, I was eating more eggs. That year, and the yeah, without going into too much thing, it affects your energy. Right. All right. So I was, and it happened at Levain. I mean, I, you know, mm -hmm. I was 
Besides, I had the problem on the um, on the the wheel with the wheels. You know these um, sixty millimeter white. What were they called? What were they called? Anyway, J uh, Tony Marriott had them. But anyway, yeah. Was, yeah anyway, these 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 lip bombs. Lip bombs here. These yeah, lip yeah. bombs. Mm -hmm. They were sixty mil and mine were fifty four, <laughs> and I, and I'm skating and I'm seeing every stride. They were taking six inches out of me, and I'm having to put in extra strides to to, to stay with it, you know. And five thousand meters, I was blown to bits, you know. I mean, I was, you know, there was nothing wrong with my fitness, but just the wheel, you know. If you've got a, so yeah, you thought just, you should have gone to Spalletta? Definitely. I mean, in in the trials, I was mm -hmm. I I was performing perfectly okay, you know. But you was real. But he was reinstated. Ah, because Mullaney went to Spalato, didn't he? John Mullaney went to Spalato. Probably, But he yeah. didn't go to the Europeans in... In Southampton. In Southampton. No. Yeah, no, I know John it. says that he thinks it's something to do with the Morris Falcon connection, because he was working for DJ Morris, who was the sponsor, and they said it was unethical. And that's John's, obviously, take on, on what happened, why he was left out of the team. So... My... My recollection... I mean, you know, it's, as I said, it's, it's only my recollection. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Spilato, I should have been in the team. Yeah, but was select was dropped in favour of a younger skater. That Downing, which was John Downing. He medalled in Spilato. Yeah, yeah, no, but I reckon I could have done. Yeah, you know, I mean that's the. I mean, that's yeah, the, yeah. That's I mean, the, yes, I was, I understand I was that. European. Yeah, I was. Yes, I did. Of course. I, I on points from yeah. the European Championships in yeah. Ostend. I yeah. was. I was near enough overall champion. Right. On points. Yeah. So you, as you say, yeah. that's a good I, point. I was, the, could... I was the reason yeah. John got his 5,000 metre. Yeah. I was the one that led to the last lap to, get, to put three, three English guys at the front going into the last lap of the, th the 10,000 metres, mm -hmm. which is why we ended up with first, first and, and second. second. Yeah, I mean, if, if John hadn't been grabbed from behind, we'd have yeah. had first, second, third, course, probably. Obviously. Yeah. And uh, the 1,000 metres I won, yeah. we, we had third and fourth. That's and right, John. yes, that's right. Yeah, so... So yeah, Spilato then yeah. you should have gone. Spilato, I you know, on on count back should yeah. we say I should have yeah. gone, but it it didn't happen because because the powers that be decided they wanted a, a junior in there. So John Downing went. But you so you but he then did go to Southampton. And then at Southampton I proved I could I could be in there. And my recollection of Southampton was John was slightly the weaker. And definitely Ian Cox and John Downing were 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 um, qualified members of that team. Uh, yeah, because yeah. Cox, John, was, Cox was strong. Yeah, and Cox was strong. And John Downing was far. I mean, John Downing had yeah. something extra, had an extra yeah. gear on that. Yeah. You know, I mean, John Downing was gifted, and I recognised that. And I, you know, yeah. I, I was, I, I was just disappointed. I mean, as a team manager, I was totally disappointed with his attitude and his. Who John Downing? John Downing. Yeah, okay. he, he didn't. I don't. I don't know what caused that. I, you know. I mean, but Southampton. I, is this Southampton? No. The, no. This. Right. No. It, it's but Southampton. Yeah. It performed. I mean. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 seconds yeah. or something. Yeah. I something. Mean, yeah. If, you know. But I, the, I fly into. But it, the British know. team only took bronze, I think, in the silver or bronze in the. In Southampton wasn't the track for us. We yeah. didn't have that instinct. I think. Kicks. Uh, kicks. Fried. Dad always used to say that that they made the mistake of going back to uh, the Mac One Blues. Um, whereas mm. everybody else was on the urethane at the time, and he felt that they'd sort of gone. If I remember rightly, I haven't spoken to him for a long time on this, but yeah. backwards in terms of the, the technology. The technology, yeah, yeah. And you because they'd because right. they'd known about, it, and in hindsight, that everybody else was on. You know, yeah, it, they, it had moved on. Wheels had moved on because yeah, they'd gone remember, from the greens in '79, which were urethane. Yeah, to, that's back right. to plastic. That's right. Yeah, yeah, but. I mean, we had the. Mm. Uh, I mean, we only did a few training sessions there, but I I can't remember. But you were left out of the relay. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I mean, that was that was a, a weird one because I'm. You know, I, I would say I'm I'm the strongest person well, in the relay. That Leo, said that before. well, Leo said Le, yeah, Leo in his interview made out the fact that he left you out in favour of John Downing. Um, but really, from what you're saying, is really could it, you, you know John Down and Ian Cox probably mind you, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. Know, I don't no, think Ian no, Cox I, was in the, in the relay. Well, because Mickey must have been there. But I, I know it was. Yeah, dead yeah. Down. I mean, 
If I mean, we're talking, as I say, we're talking Southampton, so yeah. you're talking a 500 metre lap, yeah, uh, on a relay. Mm. I proved down there in, in the you know, with the Southern versus the Mercia and the Palace and what have you, that I was. I was one of the probably the strongest strongest around there because I could sprint flat out every lap. Well, then we. What's the point? Well, I have to say, Thampton, we are. a bit later on in the year, it is New Zealand. Yeah. And then you didn't get selected for the track. Yeah, uh, that was Malaysia. New Zealand. Yeah, yeah no, Malaysia. That's, that's fine. No, that was, I was yeah. completely agreeable with that. Yeah, no, was, and, but you did skate the road. Again, it? It's this. It's the blues on the track and on the road. But you skated the road for. Uh, I skated for the road on you, blues, yeah. and that was your last. Yeah. Time in a British shirt. Yeah. Was uh, um, New Zealand you... was a complete disappointment to me. In what way? I went out there. I was. I felt in reasonable shape, and then I skated on the uh, on the track. Oh, the the thing that was against me was the wheels. So you know, on the track, the the wheels were getting warm, and I was short of short on wheels relatively, and. Uh, yeah, and it was the same on you know, the road. Uh, I knew I wasn't going. Yeah, you know, mm. we we weren't going to win stuff on that sort of road. I mean, you know, mm. yeah, it just wasn't wasn't our scene really. Had you had you decided before New Zealand that you were going to give up? Because I seem to remember. I mean, I was I, I was thirteen. I said, I said way back. I said way back uh, that I would pack up when I was thirty unless I could see a world championship. And so thirty, that was it. 30, 30, I'm was, done. I'm done. Yeah. If I'm not if a world I, champion if, by 30, if, no, I'm if, done. No, if I couldn't see a world championship okay. just round the corner, then I'm done. And then I'm done. And the, the wheel technology had gone yeah. to the point where you could be the fittest guy, uh -huh. you could be the best skater, but if you didn't have the wheels, you couldn't win. So before and, so and the new, Italians were producing this wheel for the, yeah. for the thing, and I thought, no, I'm not going to knock my guts out and spend hundreds of pounds because it was from. You know, buying woods and buying these thermal, these uh, these light, you know, low Mac ones, shall we say? So did they were relatively cheap wheels, but then yeah. we were into the sort of eighty pound, hundred pound a set the, type thing. Stuff. And you could have a bag full of wheels and not have the right one. And which is what happened. Window, no, which yeah. Is, yeah, I used so to take twenty five sets of wheels to a worlds, exactly. and then never, and never use them. Never and buy, buy a set when I was there. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, I wasn't going to. You know, for my family and that sort of thing, I'd already, I said, no, there's no way I'm going so to. So you knew that New Zealand was going to be your last one? When I went out there, there yeah, I knew New Zealand was the last Did that affect your performance out there, do you think? No, not at all. No, I, I gave it everything. And, but you just, and you was, just knew? That I was knew it. that, you know, the tracks, the wheels that I was on, not going to happen, you know. It wasn't. Well, just before New Zealand, well, a few years before New Zealand, a few, few months before New Zealand, you know, you won your last British title actually, which yeah, was yeah, 79, 10,000. No, it was actually 1980. It was actually sorry, it was 1980. Yeah, sorry. yeah, sorry. it was yeah. 1980, the 10,000 yeah. on Southampton, as on it happens, Southampton. The, the track that yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not your favourite. With track. a little bit of help from my friends. But uh, did, yeah, with, uh, yeah. <laughs> but did you know that actually, when the day you won it is actually it's going to be. What's the date today? 15th of August? You won it on the 17th of August. Oh, right. So yeah. on, on Sunday, when you're flying back to Cyprus, it'll have been 34 years ago to the very day since you won your last British wow. title. Yeah. So um, you went into management afterwards, yeah. straight away. So you come back and says, I'll be the team manager next year. No, I didn't. No, I was asked to be the team manager. Okay. And your first assignment was Pinato and Monte Silvana, but we're yeah. getting respect, you, you don't recall much of those two. Sure, it wasn't Ostend. No, okay. no, it Pinato, was Ostend. Yeah, I... Ostend came after at okay. the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Pinato. Yeah, I yeah. Don't, I don't remember too much about them. But no. it was uh, it was Jerry Lee McAvoy, and uh... yeah, <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry, I'll be back. I'll be back to sleep. <laughs> I'm trying to wake him up. So there was Jerry, yeah. Lee McAvoy, Nick, but you can't remember who else went. No, no. So, but wouldn't have been because I know Dad didn't go, Fry didn't go. I don't think Malane went. I don't think Malane went either to Pinato and Monte Silvano. Could have been. He did go to. Could have been Malane. It could have been Malane who went. Yeah. But I do know, obviously, as you say, Ostend is your next one in yeah. terms of the you know the team management, which is the World Championships now. Yeah. And what was it like having been the nucleus of a British team that had been yourself, Malane, Brian McGough, and now having to find yourself selecting them? It wasn't a problem for me. It was never a problem for me. I, 
I, I joined, I went to the, I joined the committee to try and put it on it on the correct lines. Um, to try and, how can you, how can you put this? To make sure that they got their priorities right. Um, there was, I wanted to put in a proper training set, so training, uh, co you know, coaching and stuff, put out, you know, to the clubs. So I wanted to put it, to get my, my training sort of spread across the thing and I got balked by that. It took me six months to get a, a, this training thing out, which was interval training. And it was blocked by the committee, eventually got through on the chairman's, chairman's casting boat. You know, I mean, we're talking interval training and mm -hmm. There were people wanting to take it to their doctors to prove it was safe and all this sort of cobblers and and we've been using it in athletics since 1970 or something you know i mean it was ridiculous you know stuff. so so there was a lot of blockages shall we say and i wanted people to be retired at the right time not because they want to bring the, in these mm. kids there i mean the kids kids were you know they had their abilities but I've, I said you can't go from fifteenth place to third to win a medal, you know. And if if your only capability is is to sit on the back of a line, or go off the front and blow yourself to bits, uh, which is what they would be doing. I mean, we saw it in we saw it in Ostend with Jerry McGrath, completely lost. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to take John for five laps because Jerry was supposed to be at the front there with five laps to go, and he went up at eight laps to go. Got a a few bumps from Cruciani and bottled it and went to the back. And that's the sort of, you know, that's the sort of thing, you know, you've got to have this, first of all, you've got to have the, the strength, the will of brain and the, the character to be able to, you know, crunch in the line, fight your own battles and all that sort of business. So you selected these guys, so of so, the four, you're now in management, the other three are still yeah, skating. Yeah, and I wanted to give them their correct lifetime in the sport. Well, you infamously left Melania out of the 5081. Yeah, yeah. Has he ever forgive you for that? I'm sure he hasn't, but I can only put my side of the thing. I'm a team manager. I'm, it's the last race of the championship. Um, I can't remember what, where we were standing at that particular point, but the referee came along to me and he said, if John Mullane gets one more ticket then the whole team the whole British team will be disqualified the whole British team from the event was he aware of that was he made aware I of think, that I think I'm sure I told him I, you know I'm sure I told him but uh, you know I I mean everybody anybody with a with half a brain knows that when John steps on the track he's a marked man from the from the centre thing and if the the other if the Italian judges and what have you know that they put stick one on it, I mean anyway, I mean he was a marked man from the time he decked. I can't remember who. who, who no, I don't know him in the Belgian but him in the book, yeah. yeah, I mean he was a marked man. Yeah. I mean, you know, he he done, I mean, you know, people have long histories and stuff, and they remember what goes on mm -hmm. in the sport. And John was, you know, John attracted that sort of thing. Well, uh, so so he was going to get that ticket, and we'd have been done. And for me to go back to the committee and say, I'm sorry, uh, I did, you know, I mean, it was just wasn't on. And, and, and the difference between John and the next person wasn't that great. So I, th I said, you know, I'm sorry, John, but I've got to pull you out for it. And it might have been his 5,000, but yeah, I could, yeah, that's, yeah mm. he weren't going to, he weren't going to survive to, to, to do anything in it. Mm. They'd have had him. So it was, you know, it was a straightforward decision, you know. So and you've got no regrets about no, that? No, no regrets you? whatsoever, you know. I mean, you know, I, I would have, you know, I, I've, I hate what's gone on since, but uh, there, was no, there was certainly nothing against him as a person or anything like that. I mean, I, you know, I wanted to prolong his career as long as, I, as long as I could, just the same as I, I did with John. I, obviously, I had to make the decision with Mickey, you know. Sorry, Mick, you know, you've done your best. You know, so, well, similar, that's interesting. Thing, you know? So, how, yeah, because I think, like, John retired after the, the 81 World Championships. He, 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 he walked away. Yeah. Um, I know he made a bit of a, a cameo appearance in 85, which, again, you was the manager for, and we'll uh, come on to that, actually. But, but mm -hmm. the, next, the next, casualty is probably not the right word, but it's the word I'll use, is that the next guy, mm -hmm. we've got 82, 
mixed it in the team and my yep. dad, but yep. you've got people like Cobley, by right, Quinney. By right. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's that's the thing. I mean, when I selected yeah. the team, I selected what was the best, what were the best people to do the job. But then in 83, which was yep. Cremona first, yep. and we didn't go to the Worlds because it was Argentina, but yep. in Cremona, you, you left Mick out. But, uh, Mick, so in '82 he was in by rights, like you say. But we've got New yeah. Blood, Cobley, Quinney, Harlow, even Rowan yeah, Harlow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then in '83, um, Ian Ashby made the team, and but Mickey McGough was left out. That's right. Um, how did he take that? Wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. Um, but you know, I understood that. But I just said, you know, Mickey, you. You know, you're only on par, really, with what is coming up. And I'm pretty certain he'd, he'd done all he could at the trials or whatever. And from then, that was his high point, whereas the kids would have, were, would have gone, gone on from there and given, you know, the extra confidence and stuff. I just thought that was, the, you know, that was his time. Mm -hmm. you know? And it comes to all of us, it's a case of, unfortunately, I had the... The job, shall we say, to to say, you know, I'm sorry, Mick, you know, but did you, you take know, him to yeah. one side and do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I did. You know, I yeah, mean, I, you know, too I bad. Have, I wouldn't have just sort of said, oh, you know, this is the team or something. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's sad, you know. But as I said, I'd I, I think I'd probably played my part by prolonging, because I, I think the way it was going, you know, that we'd have all been named out, you know. Um, you know, maybe John a bit earlier. I don't know. Who, who knows? You know, okay. It's just uh, it was it was sort of uh, the time of the newbies, and it was a, they, they were they were determined to get us out. And uh, I, I, at least I I gave people their fair time, shall we say? Well, in you know. sort of 1984 and 85, Britain are starting to get noticed again because yeah. you've got the likes of now, Rowan Harlow, Dan Cobley, Cobley. Alison Hartley, Lisa yeah. Smith. Yeah. And you know, back in the British team, we're all winning medals, silvers and, and, and bronzes, and, and, and also, of course, in Vienna, yeah. uh, you got Fry, we've Cobley, got, and, and Harlow the winning European, yeah. European gold. And, and medals. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah. Know, so, um, how much credit do you take for that? Well, I think I take a fair bit because I've changed the, changed the whole training um, aspect. Um, it was probably the first manager that could go into the meetings and stuff and know what sort of positions to to be to be looking for on the you know so if there was a you know you knew where or should we say I could work out work out where it was best to be and all these sorts of things so there's all sorts of angles there on the relay for the relays and stuff I, I was the one that spotted that the lap was wrong and we'd got Cassano you know, Daddy you're talking yeah. Cassano yeah. and in and in Austria. Right. Um I changed the relay so that we'd have uh we'd I, I made uh who was it Rowan or Darren? Rowan, I think Rowan I Rowan was, two, it was two, the finish he finished. Sorry, so it was Darren. Yeah. I made do two laps and drop John out um to to get to get Rowan fresh. So he had an extra lap rest. So he went on fresh for that last sprint. Okay. Uh, and you know, said there was a lap out there which mm -hmm. I had to respond to. So you know, there was, there was a lot. You know, I took a look. I mean, people wouldn't know. I mean, the team knew, but uh, but there was. Uh, yeah, I know so. my dad said that that there was nobody would rather have had on that last lap than Rowan. Than Rowan, he, he, he was. Yeah, he was, he was, he was a sniff of victory. Was, yeah, he was, I mean, yeah, yeah, he had it. He had the physical ability. I mean, mm -hmm. climb up the hill. You know, it's going up mm -hmm. the hill again. Uh, the, the, the raw strength and power, you know. So, how would you have described your management style at that time? Fair, um, honest, and well, I mean. And yeah. when you selected the teams, was it was it easy to? I, I know because because you are good friends with my dad, and 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 you'd also been skating with him for for the yeah, best part of twenty that, years. That was but relevant. but did, would you have discussed teams with him? Because he was quite the old boy in the team, or would you, was it purely you being was, autocratic and your decision? Your decision. I mean, okay, my, it was your decision. It was around. my would decision. You... I, I, I might chat through some of the scenarios or what mm -hmm. have you, but um, you know, no. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, I was the one that made the decision. So I had to. I, I, it was my neck on the line all all the time. So uh, and I'd, 
I didn't want to be outvoted. I mean, I, I wanted to be sole sole selector because I didn't want to be outvoted by two people that didn't understand mm -hmm. what was necessary at that level of the sport. You know, I, I, um, it's 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 very difficult when when people say, for instance, I mean, Mark Took was is an example. Yeah, yeah. Mark was, you know, similar. I, I say similar to me, but not as not as um, hadn't got the timing and that sort of thing. But I mean, Mark was strong, he, he'd sort of blast and, you know, you see him in, in these sort of normal competitions in, in England and he can step out of third or fourth place and go off and there wasn't anybody strong enough to bring him back. But that don't happen in Europeans. So you've got to see him, you've got to think, well, but what is he capable of doing in a line? Can he get in the line? He can't get in the line. So where is he? Is he is he going to do the whole of the twenty thousand on the front, or is he going to be at the back? And it's those sorts of things, you know. So you get them, you know, you you skate them as a block, and you say, right, you've got to get into the you know the position in front of me because I'm sitting on the back of the line there. So I can see exactly how they're performing. Are they able to? You know, I'm leaving a half a meter gap, and I'm saying, right, you've got to get in there. So after and some of them just couldn't do it mentally, it's and they did. I thing. mean, the people like this because Mark took probably eight. He had probably been. I don't know if he was British champion at that point. It was, but so you, you left him out of the team for the Europeans in '86, which had been Finale Emilia. Probably on that yeah. basis, yeah. yeah. I mean, Finale Emilia was a yeah. was a high, relatively high speed track. And, yeah. You know, no chance. He didn't have a chance in helping. You know, as I said, for the same basis. So, but then you give up management. Because I couldn't couldn't afford to, you know, I made a pretty well made a vow that I wouldn't uh, go anywhere that I couldn't afford to take my my nipper and my my missus along. And Australia was and that Australia, place. Adelaide was that place. It, that was, you know. Did you have a say in the team that was selected for Adelaide, or no, when you no, handed the reins over? You handed the no, reins no, over. No, you handed no, it over. No, that was it. Finish. So what did you do then with with so? Because you couldn't do Australia, was you prepared then the following year, which would have been Ostend? Was you prepared to? to I would have, yeah. You yeah, would, have. Yeah, would have. So been. why wouldn't? Why didn't you do that? Because I, mean, I went to Chloe in '87 for the Europeans. Is there a, was there a particular reason why you didn't take the team to the Europeans in '87? Blank, blank spot. Uh, no okay. idea. No yeah. idea. Which I don't even remember. Sort of yeah, I don't yeah. even remember the. Yeah. I. I I remember, I remember going, funny enough, I remember you being at the, the Europeans. Well, I, remember I was more, as a judge, wasn't I? Which, which, ah, that was where I judge, did my yeah, because, international judge. Because I know Sylvie went and there was the, the, yeah, the, took, the, the her family friend. I took my international judge thing there, yeah. you know, to test and uh, and I did the lap board and, ah, okay. and stuff there. So perhaps I was more... I, I, I decided... Well, I, when I took the management for 86... 88. 80, 80, 80, so who was the next Goff one? Goff, no, McGough took Adelaide. Adelaide. Mick went to yeah. Adelaide, and then Chloe took the. So uh, I don't know what there was. Obviously, some sort of switch of interest or yeah. something there, and uh, I, I automatically assumed that Di was going to get the Adelaide job, and he would take it on from there because you know once you were in in the management, it was quite difficult to be voted out unless you made a complete uh, muck up of it, shall we say? You know, you you created some enemies. In the process, you selected John Mullane for '85 for Cassano Dada. He made a he swan best, song. He was the best. You know, I mean, there was, as I said, he'd oh, probably he left been, me out. No, <laughs> he'd have probably been in the team for yeah. for the '82, '83, '84. Yeah. There was no reason. I mean, John as a skater was there was nothing. You know, I had nothing against John. So what did you do Would've with your, so your, your role of speed activities then? So you've stopped management, so you've been a skater up till 1980, now you've been team manager up till 1986, yeah. and now you're doing what with the sport? I, you, was, I was judge, you know, judging. national judge, and I was doing my own, my, I was doing running marathons and I started triathlons in 88, I think, 88, 89. And I know you became the, he was, he was not finance officer, he was doing the sports aid. I was aid doing the sports aid, yeah, I, I was doing the finance, I was doing, yeah. I was doing the programme committee, I was doing... Uh, so you put quite a lot back a, into the sport, really, that you? I put a hell of a lot back yeah, in, yeah. Fair, yeah. I mean, 91, I think I pulled it out, or 92. I was going to ask you that, is that the, the point when bit, you... That was the point when I, I had to work for my final, my degree, um, that was the final year, and if I hadn't have 
pulled it out. I wouldn't have been able, <laughs> wouldn't have been able to pass that one. But, so yeah. you stopped. So the about ninety one, ninety two, you stopped altogether. And yeah. did you yeah. walk away from skating at that point? I know. Totally. You, yeah. 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 And yeah. and how did you feel about that? Was it the right time? It was, was it the right the, time? And for was me. it was it, it something was, you wanted to do, or was it no? To, was... to be to be honest, I was disappointed um, because when I went on the committee, I was hoping that John and Mickey and whatever you would follow, um, and I specifically asked John to come come onto the committee because I needed help. We mm -hmm. we all we needed help, and I mean so we're talking about Gwen Gwen Marriott, mm -hmm. um, Bobby Alford Dyer. Uh, we needed, you know, new blood on the committee, people that knew what they were doing. Because um, I remember was, a time you couldn't be a skater and be on the committee. That's right. But we changed that. But I remember we changed. The, we changed. Went that. to the sports or the the, the the skating council. Yeah. yeah. The NSA council yeah. and, and the AGM voted that's, it out. I remember. Yeah, right. I remember that happening. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, there was there was the possibilities there, and they they didn't come forward, and and it left me in the position. I mean, at the end, I was chairman, finance, mm -hmm. sports counts, sports uh, aid foundation, and stuff. I was because I was getting money for, yes, it, for some of the skaters. Um, me him for one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. so so I was. I was, you know, and it was too much. Plus, I was, as I say, I was trying to get a degree. I mean, yeah. I was getting a, a business degree, so you know, so it was, it was just too much. And and the, the people that were doing it were the, you know, the old school that, you know, that were, I mean, that was one of the things that was causing stress on the committee, you know, and, you know, you, you know, the people that were just on the side sort of, I wouldn't say slagging them off, but you know, you, you. When you're working alongside them, you appreciate what they do. You know, and I'm, talk I'm talking about those those names that I mentioned, especially. Mm -hmm. um, you see what they do, and that, that you know, and and we weren't getting the support, so it was it was disappointing. When was the last time you had your skates on? I put them on. I think in. Competitively, it would have been New Zealand, I presume. Well, New, no, uh, you didn't race. Yeah, New Zealand combat. was the last was Some the last race. race. That was that was the finish. Yeah. yeah. But then I coached for for four four years, five years, or whatever. Um, and it when we went to America, eighty five. Eighty five. Yeah. I was leading out. The, <laughs> I was leading out the team. For, for doing sprints, you know, to save their energy and pulling out with a, you know, and, and Rowan couldn't, couldn't hang on because he was, he was affected by the altitude and what have you, you know, so I was the fittest, <laughs> I, was one, I was one of the fittest ones there on that basis. The girls won a famous bronze medal in the, in the relay yeah, there, Lisa I mean, Burgess, did, yeah, yeah, we did, classic. We did great, I mean, Brilliant. you know. I mean, yeah. but, you know, when you're, you I've got know, a picture of you in some dodgy shorts in Colorado. Oh, yeah, oh, good stuff. Yeah, that'd be interesting. But, you know, when, that's what I'm saying. When you're in amongst it and you can, you're sitting on the back of the line and you can watch these people in front of you and, you know, and coming in, and you can see so much more than, you know, seeing them, seeing them at a distance on the track and stuff. And so I was able to select the best for the, for the you know, for the job. Well, John Mullane said that your training methods were, were, were actually ahead of their time if you read it. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah. You know, I've, I've and, and he said if we'd have listened to one. yeah if we'd have listened more yeah. to you you know yeah. he says you were street and he said and he, I think because he always said that that you was different you know because and yeah. I think it's fair to say because I mean, you were heavily into the nutrition and, and everything and, well, and, I'll tell you something on the nutrition side yeah. the Djokovic and Federer <laughs> a couple of years ago uh, Djokovic got on to gluten-free diet, yeah? yeah, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah? We're talking about top tennis professionals. Yeah. I was on a gluten-free diet in <laughs> 1998, right. 10, 10, 12 years before they were for triathlon. Well, I, I, I heard that, that like your, 
your methods and suddenly like your nutrition stuff like you know you'd, you'd go to the team hotel and it'd be i can't eat that but you know That's right. but i could eat that and yeah and but but it was almost like you know you, you can't eat that because it's got something in it and but then maybe you'd read up on something and then perhaps next year but actually i can eat that but i can't eat that now well that's and, 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 you, you've you've got to learn you know yeah. you've got to i mean you know, I understood it, it drove be, Bobby Alpha to distraction. Of course it did, because he didn't, you know, if you don't understand it, and, chips. and yeah, but I mean, yeah. you know, so, you know, I knew what was right for me and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it obviously it's also for Casey. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, it's the same at the moment. I'm on a diet that I'm, I'm completely different to everything else. I mean, the, the, the latest nutrition, which is only just coming in, is high fat medium protein low carb right it's not high not high protein anymore but i mean that's you you'll learn 10 years time yeah, you'll yeah, be, somebody else will be you'll doing be, yeah, 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 you'll yeah. be you'll, you'll catch up i had that's, steak and chips last night and, so. and the girls are loving me over in cyprus well, there you are, they, they I'm losing, I'm losing I'm kilos always, you'll have to send me a menu yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> do you have any regrets around your skating career at all No, no. I regret the attitude of the officialdom. That's probably the you know that they not they weren't more open. I mean, I lost I lost being reserved for and getting a trip to Kiel back in '69 because I was running as well as at the time, and I because I was in such a state of demoralisation having watched the the line go, jing, jing, jing. And when, 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 when the team was selected, I thought, well, I ain't got anything, you know, I can't do anything more. I can't face another 20,000, which is what Bob put on the board at the time. And, I, and I've sat there for a little while, feel absolutely knackered sort of thing. And then I looked at this 200 metre bank running track behind me. And as I said, I was doing running, still running at the time. And I thought, oh, just, felt, you know, I wonder what that is like to, to do, you know. And I've been two laps around that track and I got, I got dropped. Well, I didn't didn't make the second reserve, and I mean I was the next one in line. I, you know, so that that hurt. You know, those sorts of things hurt. But you've got, got no personal regrets. No, 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 no. no. I did everything I, I did everything I could. I, I um, yeah. Do no, you miss was, it? No, not at all. I, I tell you, I miss. I miss the top speed buzz. The that kicking, going around the top the of top a of banking. banking. Kicking the <laughs> kicking the barrier as you, you got, as you're cross skating at speed and diving down the thing. That's the bit I miss. You got twenty years on me, and I miss that as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's the you know, and I've been speed. Yeah, great. But you know, in the latter part of my my career, I would. I mean, even yeah, probably even a couple of years before I won the European, I was thinking maybe I'm getting, you know getting a bit too old for this game or whatever you know, but. But it, you know, it was it was only in the back of my mind. It was, um, you what, know, what did you think of the worlds last year in Belgium? Fabulous, fabulous. I'd love to have uh, I'd love to have pushed the eight, the, you know, the the inlines, but uh, it wasn't to be. You know, different, different time. It's, it's different. It's a, different, it's a different. It's a, a totally different sport, almost. Yeah, now, isn't it? yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the wheels are twice the size that we used to push. I mean, and that's fast. I mean, I know that's the equipment, but these guys are. Yeah, again. Yeah, but no, I still think you know if we'd have if we'd have um, been on those, we'd have done the same. I'm sure. You've no, never thought about doing a veterans? Not at all. No, no, never, no, interest no interest at all. No interest whatsoever. No, no. I was, uh, I, I, you know, loved what I've done, uh, marathons and triathlons, and and you've been very successful. Very, very, very successful. So how yeah. successful? I've won Olympic. I was sprint Olympic and long distance champion of Britain. Uh, won me, went to Germany and won a beat their top the top Germans by seventeen minutes and my age group. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I've done it. Done it all in triathlon apart from winner. I was eight seconds off a European championship on a on a bad day. <laughs> yeah, sorry, European bronze. Sorry, get that right. So yeah, I was. Uh, but my energy was zapped for healing. What can I do? Yeah. You you strike me as quite uh, I say strike me. I, I know you say it's a bit. It's not really strike me, doesn't it? But you, you're quite a spiritual guy. Extremely so. Yeah. yeah. And 
but is that something that's manifested itself recent years, or was you always that way? I mean, twenty three. I knew at age twenty three. I knew there so, was uh, something so, more. So it was seventy three. So okay. So there's more more a life than going to work and and coming home and falling in front of the telly. No, there's there's more there's more to it. And it wasn't until I was forty four, forty five that I I got onto the spiritual ladder shall we say but you're a nice guy and you're a calm guy how did you cope with the pushes and the pulls and the fighting of the italians and the argentinians and the and the balkan and how, how did you you know did you retaliate did you did you ever i, you know, I did give you a fair share of a, of a backhand i would never initiate it I but you always, could always stick up for yourself I, could always, I would always stick up for myself yeah i mean when john bashed me out at, at battersea <laughs> I grabbed his leg because I thought if he ain't if he stopped me winning it, I, I'll make sure he doesn't. You know. Yeah. So I mean, when Cruciani was was bashing the bashing the boys in uh, on 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 what's it called that 155 meters. Oh, Spalletta. No, no Salerno. 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 On Salerno, yeah. when when Cruciani was putting himself about, I went and sorted him out. Mm. I crashed him up the barrier and he, he turned to come down and saw who it was and thought, no, he bottled it, went back. And that was, you know, so, yeah, I put him in their place, That's, that was it. So, so I was the one that, I was the minder for the team. And if, you know, if they needed someone, I was the one that if, I mean, it happened a couple of times, uh, to, certainly to John. Mm. John, there was, you know, Bobby Smith, first of all, he, he, someone fell, fell down and he, he grabbed me from behind and I towed him across a skater that was across him and he, you know, regained his feet and we stayed on his feet and John, uh, again, someone in front of him fell over and he jumped in the air and I was the one at the side that grabbed him around the waist and pulled him down to his, down, down on his, you know, safely, shall we say. When Mickey went down in, um, in Argentina, I, you know, I stopped him. I picked it, picked, you know, I said, jump on my back, and I pulled him back to the line. That was the one where he nearly, mm. he took it. Did he take a medal in the end? No, no, he didn't take, no, a medal. didn't take a medal. No, but he was That's close. It. He was, yeah. he was on for one. That was the one where he ended up with a splint. Oh, it's finale, Amelia. Yeah, finale. Finale. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I pulled him back. So I was always, always working for them. You know. Well, well. <laughs> that's fair uh, and uh, all, all that uh, is left for me to say is uh, what a fantastic few hours I've had and, and a real insight into you as a speed skater and into a, an insight into the skating of, of the 1970s and 80s and uh, I'd really like to say thanks a lot for taking your time and uh, yeah, yeah, to talk to me and um, I, you know maybe you're going to set up a new team in Cyprus <laughs> get a crying out for skates over there are you but uh, it has been a real pleasure so Pat Feetham well, the British champion and the uh, European champion and, and world bronze medalist. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks very much, John. Great pleasure.